Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be continuing on what we learned on subsystem design. We have already learned about uh, the data types and, and the shift, different types of shifters used. In this lecture we will be learning about uh, arithmetic and logical units and how adder elements can be used uh, to make a 4-bit arithmetic and logical unit. Now the next element that we need to design is the actual adder, uh, uh, actual adder or arithmetic, uh, arithmetic unit. The arithmetic and logical unit actually perform different types of tasks such as AND, OR, XOR, XOR, and NOT and all the operations and these operations, all these operations can be done using only ADDER. How is it, is it done? We'll be learning it later. At first, uh, we to make, in order for us to make a 4-bit ADDER, we have to actually make a single bit full ADDER and we can cascade uh, 4 single bit 4 ADDERS to make a 4-bit ADDER. Now, here is a truth table of single bit 4 adder. Uh, 0, 0, 0 gives some 0, carry 0, 0, 0, 1 gives some 1, uh, carry 0. And we know the expression of half add is a bar b plus ab bar. And using that, we do uh, a bar, uh, half add, uh, the result of half adder into carry in bar plus result of half adder bar into carry in carry. This gives us some. And our carry is akbk into a, uh, plus hk into ck minus 1. Here ck minus 1 is called the carry in or the previous carry. Now the logic is really, uh, logic is really simple. Logic is if a is equal to b is, e if a and b both are 0 or both are 1, ck follows the value of a and b. For example, here a and b are 0, ck 0. Here, a and B are 1, uh, CK is equal to 1. Sorry, not here. Uh, here, again here, A and B are 1, so CK is 1. Here A and B are 0, CK is 0. And in all the other cases, in all the other cases, CK follows this, uh, the uh, follows the result of previous carry. That is if in all the other cases here previous carry or carry in was 0, so output is 0. Here previous carry or carry in was 1, so output, one, uh, output is 1. Easy way to remember the truth table. Now we want to uh, here in the right, this is a uh, this is a stick diagram representation. Uh, stick, stick diagram representation of the adder. It is not just a stick diagram representation. We can see it is a combination of stick, stick diagram and logic circuit as we have already stated that we can design by uh, combining those two. So what happens is, see we are designing for SK bar and CK. While we are designing for SK bar and CK, we need our previous carry as input. That previous carry is provided as input and that is passed to an inverter and the bar of it is provided as output. And this, this over here we have, these are previous carries. Uh, these, these are previous carry bars and this section over here, this portion over here is actually the uh, carry at present. Now what happens is we see that our carry here, carry is equal to 1. Uh, in the cases of uh, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal, CK is minus 1 is equal to 0. And A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, CK minus 1 is equal to 1. So, if A and B both are 1, then our carry would be 1, irrespective of what the carry in or the previous carry is. As a result, we can see that here we have A, B. A into B is directly connected to the CK. Again, we can see that in from this expression, A and B are directly connected to the CK. And again, a bar and B bar are also directly connected to the CK because if A is 0, B is 0, CK would be 0 irrespective of what carry in is. So AB are directly connected to CK, A bar B bar are also directly connected to CK. In the other function, in the other part we have, uh, we have, uh, we have seen or uh, we can see here that if CK is 1, provided that CK is 1, the if a, a is 0 and b is 1, we get uh, output is 1. If the previous carry is equal to 1 and a is 1, b is 0, we get a, a, a carry is equal to 1. That is, it, uh, carry in 
CK would be CK minus 1 A bar B or CK minus 1 A B bar. From these two expressions, we get CK minus 1 A bar B and CK minus 1 A B bar. And from these ex two expressions, we get uh, AB. So, AB, A bar B bar. So, the AB and A bar B bar, AB and A bar B bar have been implemented here. Here we have C. With C, we are connecting A bar B. So, we get A bar B C, K minus 1. Here also we have CK minus 1. With that, we are connecting a b bar so we are getting in this line we are getting c k minus 1 a b bar so this total c k is the sum of this four again now let us consider we want to find out uh, s k bar why s k bar because after that we have an inverter here so we want to find out s k bar so s k bar means the zeros will be one and one will be zero so active is this 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 and this so in this case we have a bar b bar c k bar so here we have c k bar we have selected a bar here b bar here so this line performs a bar b bar c k bar operation next operation is a b c k bar so here we have a here we have b and this is c k bar so this line performs a b c k bar operation next we have a bar b c k from here we have brought CK, this is A bar and this is B. So this line performs A bar B CK and the next line is A B bar CK. Here we have A, here we have B bar. So this line performs A B bar CK. These all four lines are added and in sum uh, and give S prime which is passed to an inverter and it gives S. So this is a stick diagram plus, uh, plus logic circuit logic circuit implementation of the 4-bit adder. Now we have learned how to make adder. Now we have to learn how we can implement logic functions using adders. Using adders, we can implement several logic functions. For example, we have input as akbk and ck-1. So if we put ck-1 is equal to uh, 0, then what happens? If ck-1 is equal to 0, this becomes 1 and this becomes 0. As a result, sk is equal to hk. Now, hk is equal to ak bar bk plus ak bk bar. So, from the sum output, we are getting x, xor function. And again, we will have another, we have another output, ck, carry output. From carry output, if ck minus 1 is 0, this is 0, so we get akbk. So in the carry output, we are getting AND operation. Again, if we exert ck minus 1 is equal to 1, what do we get? We get sk is equal to here. If ck minus 1 is 1, this becomes 0 and this becomes 1. As a result, we get h bar k. That is, we get a a x nor b so we are getting x nor operation x nor logic and again if we are uh, again we have we are getting x nor output from the sum output uh, channel and from the carry output channel we get uh, here akbk plus hk hk is basically a bar k b k plus a k b k bar now if we this uh, if we from here if we take b k as common a, a k plus a bar k will be 1 and we will be left with b k plus a k b k bar and this is equal to a k plus b k that is we are getting or operation here so we can implement OR operation if we exert CK minus 1 is equal to 1 and get take the output from CK. We can implement AND operation if we put CK minus 1 is equal to 0 and the take the output from CK. If we take the output from the sum output, sum, uh, sum pin, then what happens? If we put CK minus 1 is equal to 0, we get XOR output. If we put CK minus 1 is equal to 1, we get XOR output. 
we know we can execute any logic functions if we can generate OR gate, AND gate and NOT gate because these three are universal, universal gates. Now in any way if we, if we take either signal A or signal B with its true and complementary form we will be having our NOT gate there that is OR inputs will be automatically inverted and the inverted inputs will be available to us. We will have our OR operation and we will have our AND operation. So we can execute any logic functions using just uh, adders. So 4-bit ALU can be designed using 4-bit adder elements. Adder elements means full adder. So here we can see that our A0, A1, A2, A3, the input A is available in only true form and input B is available in both true and complement form that is both B and B bar is available and here this this thing over here is switch we can either choose B and if we turn the switch there we can choose B bar say similarly here we we have we again have a chance to use the switch if we we can switch it to carry in or we can switch it to ground or we can switch it to VDD that is the carry input or the carry signal we can turn the carry signal 0 by connecting this we can turn the carry signal carry in signal 1 by connecting this and again output we can take the output from the sum by connecting this or we can take output from carry by connecting this portion so what we need to do suppose we need to do XOR operation what we'll do for XOR operation our CK minus 1 will have to be equal to 0. So we, uh, we what we do, we, sorry, uh, what we do, at first we connect this carry pin into the ground pin here. So these two are connected. So CK minus 1 becomes 0. Then uh, we connect this uh, or A and B both to the true form so that A, X, R, B is obtained. Then we connect this output pin to the sum pin. If we connect this output pin to the sum pin, we will get XOR operation. If we connect the output pin to the carry pin, we will get AND operation. Similarly, for OR operation or XOR operation, we just uh, we just connect this carry pin or carry input pin from here to VDD. If this is connected to VDD, then what happens? We will get XOR and or operations these two operations that we will be finding and since the complementary inputs are also available using this 4-bit ALU using just adder elements we can actually uh, get any circuit or we can actually get any output as we want out of it that's all for this lecture uh, this uh, majority of this lecture has been covered from VLSI design uh, basic VLSI design by Pucknell the articles in consideration are article 8.3 and 8.3.2. Uh, you can read this if you want to learn about these things in more details. Uh, there is just one thing is le uh, one thing left about uh, subsystem design. Uh, that is the memory element and how we can design the memory elements. Uh, that requires an elaborate discussion and we'll ha be having that discussion in the next lecture. Uh, so for, uh, uh, for now, uh, this is it for this lecture. Thank you so much.